Second down and 11. And a deep throw by Virgil. He's got a man behind the secondary. It is caught at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Southeastern Louisiana Lions. It's Austin Mitchell, the deep threat receiver, and he was running behind the secondary. Anybody to get deep, and he did. And what a connection, what a throw. Austin Mitchell with his third touchdown catch of the campaign and shows you the arm strength of chasing Virgil as he got behind the Ronnie Littleton, the quarterback, actually, and seeing this completion, uh, pass and throw. A 70-70 yard hookup for the touchdown on the second play from scrimmage. Let's take another look at it. Nice passing catch. Virgil with his eighth touchdown toss of the season, and he dials long distance for Austin Mitchell. A very difficult catch. He has had to alter. Uh, kind of the ball was thrown over the opposite shoulder and Mitchell holds it in for his 11th catch and his third touchdown grab of the season and puts the Southeastern line. Both quarterbacks in tonight's game are among the nation's leaders in passing. Virgil throws on first down. He wings it out quickly to the right side and that one is caught by Niger Jackson. Humble. Well, Kevin Ratliff, he got that earlier tonight after getting that interception earlier. This is the defensive Branson Schwabel, a big tight end, has just hauled one in. He's a load, a 6'5", 245-pound junior from nearby Amy. And the throw over the middle, caught on the run. Niger Jackson into Northwestern territory. That'll be first and ten. That is 12, first and first fourth line, contact foul of the game. Jason Virgil, you notice... Not only does he have good placement, Lynn, he's got quick release. And when you have quick release, it doesn't allow the defense to adjust. And you can see he's... He started his career at Merced Community College. He's from Stockton, California. Lorenzo Nunez at quarterback, and he'll keep it and run to the 40. Still pushing the pile forward out to about the 43. 17 tackle for loss in his Demi career out of Conroe, Texas. Virgil back in, throws. He's got a man for a first down. Petit Ferrer broke a couple of tackles, and now flags are flying. Unnecessary roughness. Defense, number 39. 15-yard penalty tagged on from the end of the run. Automatic first down. That's, that's Kyle Moore, number 39, called right here for the personal foul. And, Renee, that's not a, uh, not a difficult assertion. Yeah, that's a spearing call as he was down, and he was already down, and Kyle Moore kind of jumped on top. He... South Independence, Louisiana. Virgil looking. Steps out of one tackle, gets it away. Somehow he was able to slip the tackle and get it to and 10. Virgil back, throws it over the middle. It's caught and then dropped, cured it. Ryan Reed jarred it loose. Ryan Reed had a eight tackles and an interception against Grambling. And Nunez, uh, he never really had the... Parker Pastorello with the first demon punt, kicks it to midfield. A return of 10, a return of 20, a return of 30, a return of 40, a return to the end zone. They say he stepped out of bounds inside. And Austin Mitchell flashes some 4-4-5 four, four, speed. As you see, he ducks and eludes a couple of would-be tacklers and looked like he was bottled up, but he just found a crease and he just Put on the afterburner, and a nice effort there towards the end might have saved the touchdown. That was a kick kicker. Pastorello was the one that made the, made the tackle. And the replay did show that on this next step right there that he did step out of bounds at the seven-yard line. More than half of that coming on the first reception of the game for a touchdown. He's looking. He throws. For the score, C.J. Turner, a redshirt freshman from Laplace. Two minutes deep into the second quarter, the Lions. As they have scored early in each of the first two periods, 13:05 remains in the first half. Time on the field. Eastern 14. Media. Northwestern State three. Field goal was good. Both Virgil and Nunez are juniors. Southeastern has not had much of a running game tonight, but still leads 14 to a five-yard gain there. 
Berger sets up, wings it to the outside, caught for the first down. Austin Mitchell made the reception. Here's the big guy who lost it, picked up by the Demons, headed the other way. An empty backfield, quick throw over the middle, caught on the run for a first down. That's Nunez. Hit at the bottom of the screen. Here comes a blitz. Virgil steps up. He's flush to his right. Fires it downfield. Schwabel. Did he make the catch? Yes, he did. Schwabel was warding off a defender inside the 30. And Schwabel had six catches for 98 yards against Lamar. Coming into the game with 15 catches. But this was a nice adjustment to the throw. And he beat Malik Sonia. Field formation. Offense, number 12, player lined up in the neutral zone. Five-yard penalty, Mays first down. However, there is a penalty against the Lions. Point four yards per carry and scored four times. Virgil to Petit Ferrer to midfield before he's repelled. He'll be four yards short of the first down. He plays, though. Oh, wow. He's explosive. He's a big man on the field. Virgil with the line. by Jason Virgil. Look, he just sees as he gets a little separation and Mitchell has a step or two in the defender and beats. Let's look at this hookup between Virgil and Mitchell. And it's a go route right up the line of scrimmage and Mitchell with a nice over-the-shoulder catch. Defense at 12 on the field. Five-yard penalty. Mays first down. Oh. Second and three. <laughs> Look like certainly a very hard run. He hands it off right side. Goal from the one. Nunez fakes the wide receiver sweep. He keeps it and he bangs his way home. Tonight for the Lions, they have scored three times in the first half. Nice block up front by the Lions and Pat Allen also with a nice block. Jonathan Tatum. Out of Menard High School in Alexandria, Louisiana. Drives home the... Second and seven. Virgil looks. Let's it fly. He's got a man open. It's Austin Mitchell. Austin Mitchell is tripped up inside the 15-yard line. He was wide open in the moonlight, and Virgil delivered a ball. Got in the opener, an out route, and Chase and Virgil found him immediately. He released the ball, and... Right in stride, and Austin Mitchell comes up with it. You see, closing Bourgeois just dives in desperation and gets him by the ankle for a touchdown saving tackle. But on the right side, the Lions back to the ground and breaking a tackle or two inside the 10. Blitz coming. Throw out short. And it's caught for good yardage. That one in the hands. Nunez will keep it, runs to the right side, trying to pile his way forward, and we'll see where they mark it. It looks like... And uh, it, it tells you what kind of player he is. Virgil back in at quarterback, swings it out to Petit Ferrer. Petit Ferrer has been relatively silent tonight. Harmlessly to the ground. This throw, wings over the middle, caught for the first down at the 30. Remember, this drive started at the one-foot line. Austin Mitchell has... Lines 2006 to 2011 as Virgil dials up and, and hits Mitchell again for a first down. Five yards from the shadow of its own goal post. A couple of first downs. Lions go to the running game. It has not been much tonight for Southeastern. Attacking the south end zone. Virgil swings it out to Darren Johnson. Johnson draws a crowd in a hurry. Look at the gang tackling.